Jean Greer here at Stylish Fireplaces with an update and a reminder about fireplace safety and how it relates to electric fireplaces. October is Fire Safety Month as well as Fireplace Month, so it's a good time to bring those things together. First of all, with a wood-burning fire or a gas fireplace, you have live flames. There's a fuel that's burning and there are live flames, and so there's always a risk of fire with that situation from those live flames getting into the room or the home or onto flammable materials. And so that changes the way we build those types of fireplaces. With an electric fireplace, there is no live flame. And so there is no risk of flames jumping into your room or onto flammable materials as there would be with something that has a live flame. Beyond that, there's something called pyrolysis. Without getting too technical, pyrolysis is when flammable materials like wood get superheated over time. And every time they get superheated, they break down a little bit. And eventually, if that occurs over and over again, that wood can spontaneously combust. And that's why we build fireplace walls for gas fireplaces and wood burning fireplaces with non flammable materials because not only can they catch fire from sparks or live flames, but they can break down due to pyrolysis and then combust. And so it's very important that those fireplaces are constructed with non flammable materials. With an electric fireplace, again, we do not have that superheating of the structure of the fireplace wall. And so we can build with whatever materials we like. The firebox itself is not going to heat up the structure from within. And so there's really no risk of pyrolysis in that situation. Let's talk about burn risk. Obviously with an open flame, we all know we're not gonna stick our hand over an open flame without getting scorched. And so of course you have that risk with uh, an open flame, either from a gas log or from a wood burning fire. There's also a risk with a gas fireplace or even a wood burning fireplace that has glass doors on it. A gas fireplace has a glass front on it a wood burning fire could, should have glass doors on the front to protect the room from the live fire. That glass in front of those flames gets super heated. And in the case of a gas fireplace, that glass is so hot that by the time my brain registers that it is hot, the skin is already burning off my fingers. And you can imagine what that's like with little kiddos in the house or pets that just won't stay away from that glass. And so there is a risk of contact burns with hot glass on those fireplaces. With an electric fireplace, I can absolutely touch this glass. That is not the source of heat. Those flames are not the source of heat and this glass isn't going to get hot whether the heater is on or not. Additionally, many electric fireplaces have a heat lockout feature so that there you can have your flames on without accidentally having the heater turned on and so there's really lots of ways to make sure that this glass is not going to possibly get hot with an electric fireplace and last but not least let's talk about carbon monoxide when you burn that fossil fuel like a gas in your fireplace there is carbon monoxide emitted and so here in canada we vent all of our gas fireplaces and gas logs to the outside and so that it's not going to escape into the home unless there's a malfunction. With an electric fireplace, there is no combustion. There is nothing burning and therefore no off gassing and zero risk of carbon monoxide poisoning. And so it's not something you even have to worry about. We've covered all of these risks in more detail on our stylish blog at stylishfireplaces.ca.